Bam, bring it in for a hug, folks. How's it going? My name is Tony P. It's Tony P. Oddcast. I'm trying to think when the last episode was. I don't know. That's a bad sign when you can't remember. Not that my memory is going. That just means it's probably been a couple weeks since I recorded an episode. And I'm reminded, some folks out there remind me, I brush them off like haters. Nah, man, I just, I've been busy. I've been busy. I was in uh, last weekend, New Orleans. Random, uh, not last minute, but 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 certainly not planned way in advance trip to New Orleans. Had a great time. Everything went well. Um, but that was my weekend. And then, I don't know, man. I don't know about you, but if you travel like a day, you're like, oh, that's it. I'm just shot. Like, my whole week's shot. Honestly, I'm not making excuses. I'm just being real. Like, well, I was a little inconvenienced and kind of tired that one day. Whole week shot. That's it. You know, nobody goes to bed early in New Orleans. Let's just be real. So I had some uh, sleep catching up to do and yeah, whatever. Whatever. Point is, I didn't put out an episode. You know what? Fine. Get off my back. I'm happy to be doing it this week because uh, apparently it was daylight. Is it daylight savings time or daylight spending time, whichever one it is, where the clock, you lose a, an hour of sleep? That's garbage. Who came up with that? Who thought that was a good idea? Like, hey, you're going to get an hour, extra hour of sleep? Yo, that's cool. God forbid. God forbid you get an extra hour of sleep in your year. Wrong. Nope. Got to pay for it. Got to pay for that later in the year. Extra hour of sleep usually feels like, I guess, it feels like 15 minutes. Losing that hour of sleep, whole week shot. Just tell you now, that's it. The entire week, just nothing getting done. I got ahead of it this year. I'm not going to lie, Doc, because I was already just, you know, not exhausted, but like needed a little break, needed a little time to decompress after being out of town. So I was like, you know what? I'm combining that with the upcoming uh, time change. I'm just doing nothing all weekend. And that's what I did. Nothing. Hey, what'd you do last weekend? Nothing. I started watching Peacemaker. That was it. A couple episodes of that and did nothing. And I loved it. I loved every second of it. It was great. Woke up this morning and start the week actually feeling rested. Apparently it takes like three days of doing nothing and napping on and off to feel uh, rested on a Monday morning. But I'll take it. Felt pretty good. Hey, I had my buddy Charles reach out to me some time ago now, but, you know, because I missed some episodes. And he said, hey, man, do you have stickers? And I was like, what do you mean stickers? Like like my own? Like, do I have stickers in my house? Yes. He said, no, no, no. Do you have stickers for your show, for Tony P. Oddcast? I was like, I don't think I do. I don't think I've made stickers for this show. He's like, well, there's somebody in Tennessee with a black car with your sticker, with a sticker for your show. And I was like, oh, well, that got to be my mom's old car. That's the only possible thing it could be. And it was like a black Nissan. And I was like, I think my mom had a black Nissan. I sent her a message. Hey, did you have a black Nissan? She's like, well, what are you asking that for? I was like a while ago. That's random. And I was like, hey, man, I think my friend saw your old car with the sticker for the show. She's like, yeah, but that was before the show. I was like, what? That means there's somebody out there with an odd cast sticker. Now, there's a chance it's not Tony P. Odd cast. That's a very specific brand of odd cast. I'm going to let you know in a secret. Apparently, Bob and Sherry have a show called Odd Cast. That makes no sense. See, Tony P., my name, Odd Cast. P podcast podcast, Tony podcast, boom, blows minds on many levels. A lot of people never get it until I explain it. And then I watch as their minds are blown. But as for Bob and Sherry, I don't know. I don't know what their reason for podcast is, but Hey man, I even know someone in, in, in Tennessee. I think they said, um, I don't know what he said, but I only know one person in Tennessee, I think. And I reached out and said, hey, do you have a sticker for my podcast? She's like, you have a podcast? I was like, yeah, that's what I thought. 
So I don't know, mysterious person in Tennessee with an odd cast sticker, re- reach out. Go to TonyPHenderson.com. Let me know, was that you? Is it a Tony P odd cast sticker? If I send you one, will you put it on your car next to the other odd cast sticker? And hey guys, I'm Rusty. Before I forget that theme song that we know and love and this little tune that I'm about to play, that's all courtesy of my friend, Greg Klima. Check him out at Klima.com, K-L-Y-M-A. Oh, that's right. I forgot last time I put in an ad. Here we go. We're doing an ad for Hungry Root. Y'all, I uh, uh, I don't like to cook. And I like stuff easy, but I got to try to be healthy because if I don't, it's just dinner and calories galore on that DoorDash. That's why I got Hungry Root uh, this week for lunch. Just today, actually, I had Thai coconut chicken and green beans. That's probably one of my favorites. That is probably one of my favorites. And before that... I had a burrito bowl. So simple, yet so good. You want to know what I'm talking about? Go to TonyPHenderson.com, and there's a code. You get $50 off a of Hungry Root. Go do that. And if you do that, then I get $50 off a of Hungry Root. It's like we're eating a meal together. Share one of them burrito bowls or something. All right, folks, when I last had an episode, we were talking about Hank the Tank. That big old black bear that was stealing stuff in California. And everyone's like, oh, Hank the Tank, he's stealing so much stuff. Well, as soon as that story came out, I had someone write me and they said, hey, 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 there's an update. I said, I know, I just saw it. Come to find out. Y'all, this isn't even the story this week. This is just an update on a previous story. And then I'll have another story for you because that's how we're doing. We're doing, doing it big today. Let's make up for lost time. DNA evidence. That's pretty messed up, man. That's like some CSI criminal mind stuff to get to the bottom of this bear. DNA evidence reveals Hank the Tank isn't one bear, but several, at least three black bears hmm, are behind a string of brazen break-ins at the Lake Tahoe area, according to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. As it turns out, As this article says, as it turns out, humans are not great at telling bears apart. (sighs) Identifying bears simply by their visibly visible physical characteristics can lead to misidentifying bears and therefore confusing, confusing management efforts. The wildlife department said basically people saw one black bear and they thought they all looked the same and just figured it was Hank and they were wrong. There's a joke in there somewhere. I'll just, you know, at this point, this part in the show, this is like a choose your own adventure. You can just make your own joke on that one. However, we do have, do have a new story. And it's Florida. Do I still have a Florida sound queued up? Bortles. I do. It's Bortles, an elderly Florida woman, is accused of pickpocketing strangers by pretending she knew them and while giving them a hug, swiping their credit cards and wallets. Man, get out of here. I wish someone would. Kathy Stevens, nicknamed the Hugging Bandit, creative is being held in the Pinellas County Jail on more than a dozen charges from the Clearwater Police Department. Stevens, 65 years old, allegedly targeted older men. I don't know if they mean older than her or like older in the grand scheme of things. Some people think I'm older. Would she come to me? She would approach them outside of stores. Well, nope, because I wouldn't be at stores. So let's just, I'm safe there. Clearwater police said she would act like she knew the men, give them an unwanted hug, and steal items from their pockets. Some of you that know me personally or don't, even if you just listen to this show, do you think I would push a 65-year-old woman down who tried to hug me if I didn't want her to? Answer, yes. Back up. Don't Don't come near me, for one, but whatever. Sometimes people have to come near you. I'll let that slide. There's no reason for you to hug me. That's not, that's not necessary. In fact, that's weird. 
You can't just hug people. Even if I do know you, even if I'm in Georgia where I used to live and I know a lot of people, see, that's the thing out here in Florida, I don't know anybody. So I already know I don't know you. Back it up. Back it up. Maybe in Georgia where I knew more people and I'm like, oh, I probably know that lady. Do I maybe know that lady? Is it a family member? I don't know. Until we figure it out, we're not, we're not hugging. I'll get back to you. You know, I'll make it up to you like a couple days when I go home and be, hey, you know, this person, oh yeah, that's your aunt. Oh, okay. Next time I see you, I'll give you two hugs. But you know, they come to me and hug me. In one October incident, Stevens allegedly walked up to a victim and gave the victim a hug while reaching into a back pants pocket. The victim told the sheriff's office that after the strange encounter, they noticed the credit card was missing from their wallet. The victim had just used the card and said it was a position in the wallet which could have easily been accessible. The identity of the victim was redacted from the complaint. So maybe it was like, I don't know if you've done that. You put something back in your wallet. It's like still kind of sticking out a little bit. You know, who knows? The sheriff's office said Stevens allegedly spent $1,000 on the stolen credit card. Um, I don't, all right, I'll tell you a secret. I don't care. I've, I've always, even as a kid, I was like this. I don't carry my wallet in my back pocket. I don't know why. Um, it's just been, like I said, even as a kid, everyone's like, you put your wallet in your back pocket. I was like, no, I'm going to put mine in my front pocket. I don't know why. It just became a thing. I never changed that. And that's the thing. Now, my wallet and, like, my phone are, are like, combined. It's like a case with wallet stuff. And it's literally the only thing in my pocket. Okay, that's not true. I just lied. And also some keys. But I say that to say, I know it's in my pocket. You're not getting in my phone. You're not getting uh, in my, like, card case. And it's in my front pocket. I'm pretty confident, and Lord knows I could be wrong, but in my time on this earth, nobody has ever reached into my front pocket without me knowing. Like, I don't know, maybe prove me a fool. Maybe I'll put some cards, just like cards, oh, you got me, put them in my front pocket. If you stole it, you go, I got you. Okay. But that's just weird. I don't know, man. I just just feel like... (sighs) I don't know. I, again, I don't want to judge this person. I certainly don't want to blame a victim. However, I just feel like speaking personally, I'm going to know if there's a hand in my pants pocket. Maybe I'm a little too cautious. I don't know, but I just feel like that's something I would know. But anyway, Stevens is connected to at least four incidents in the Clearwater area, and it is not yet clear if she's obtained an attorney. Huh. They're getting her. Pockets, pockets of Florida will be safe after all from, oh, I already forgot her name. Is it Betsy? That sounds like an older lady name. I don't know. Another good thing, you can take all my credit cards you want. I, I, they're going to they're gonna stop that way before you hit $1,000. You might, I mean, you can buy a video game or something. And some lunch. That's that's about all I got. 